folks truly are. Hey there. I just thought I would include you in my evening's preparation of food. I'm going to take these yellow zucchini squash and I'm going to roast them. And there's little bitty ones and there's a bigger one. Um, I'm going to roast them with some um, olive oil and if I have a little bit of garlic. Um, I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, and then I am also, I'm going to just roast them like this. I just cut them in half. What people put the olive oil and the garlic right here like this. Um, and then you roast them like this. And then once they're roasted, I'm actually going to chop them up, slice them into kind of down that way, then down that way. And I'm also going to take this beautiful locally grown Swiss, um, I'm sorry, it's not Swiss chard, it's kale. And I'm gonna make kale noodles out of it. So I'm actually gonna take this, I'm gonna cut out the, the vein, this main ribbing. And I'm gonna take what's left and I'm gonna cut that into like little noodley strips. So basically I'm gonna make like my own noodle bowl, pasta bowl, like noodles. Um, and I'm gonna add the roasted um, zucchini and uh, I'm going to make this super yummy Asian sauce that I love. Um, it's not a recipe I found anywhere, but it probably is if I were to Google it. <laughs> it's um, it's uh, coconut aminos or soy sauce, you could, organic soy sauce, whichever you prefer. Um, and fish sauce and fish or sesame oil and vinegar. I know what kind. I'm going in my head, I'm like going through everything that it is. Vinegar, but it is special vinegar that we all love that is called rice vinegar. Thank you. Just kidding. <laughs> so all of this um, yumminess combines um, and I'm making look at this, my Asian sauce, and I'm gonna put that in some hot sauce, obviously. Um, and I'm gonna put that on top of it, and I'm gonna cook up some shrimp really quick. And then I'm gonna get this season the shrimp, of course, um, first. And then I will, and I'll also take these stems after I've, basically after I've cut this out of everything, I'll take these and chop these up tiny, and they'll be like a crunchy element, just a little bit more texture. So your noodlies and then your crunchies. Um, and I, uh, will add the shrimpies, anything else with the knees and, um, all together and it'll be delicioso. Oh gosh, this is like the worst thing ever. You can't even see me. This is like probably gonna be, I'm gonna look back at this video blog and think it was the lamest video blog in the history of video blogs because there's a million other video blogs out there that are probably better than this. Well, that are definitely better than this video blog and people that know more and sound more professional about what they're doing, not just loving to cook and make something because it sounds interesting. They just like, they actually know. Cause I'm just like, is this, it looks like zucchini. It smells like a zucchini, cuts like zucchini. Is there yellow zucchini? I don't know, like probably. It's in the squash family, right? It came to my doorstep because I get the whole box delivery. So it came to the doorstep. I'm gonna cook it like zucchini and it's gonna be delicious. I, that's the only part I know. I know that I'm gonna make an Asian faux noodle bowl with roasted vegetables and shrimp, and it's gonna be delicious. That's really all that matters. So I will show you more as we get there. All right, I'm back. I just wanna show you a couple things. Um, I've got the, remember I was telling you about the stems? This is how I cut those little guys up. And remember how I talked about the noodles? Here's our, our kale noodles. So those are gonna um, cook down a lot and be a lot more noodly. And I might throw in a couple carrots. You never know, you never know. Let's see how I feel. And I'm about to garlic, put garlic on the, these, these have the olive oil now, garlic, salt, and pepper on those happy little campers. And um, we'll get started. So I took the garlic that you see here, this organic, is it showing up? The organic garlic. And I 
minced it after I peeled it. And then you can see the deliciousness of the garlic sitting on the yellow zucchini with the olive oil and all that garlic is just gonna meld in. It's gonna seep into the core of the zucchini for a juicy, flavorful, garlicky, oily zucchini yumminess. I forgot to mention um, that I do, I did also put in here um, some, some, Dijon mustard. Oh crap. Some Dijon mustard. And I just, you know, just do a quick, you know, your quick whisk there. And then also sesame seeds in the carrots. And then obviously season everything. It's really important. Like you guys, everybody knows this to season with salt and pepper. You always season. You gotta season it. So everything needs to be seasoned. So it's gonna be yummy. Okay. This is it. Voila. We have it. Our delicious dish of deliciousness. Uh, you see the zucchini, the yellow squash, and the shrimpies, and the noodles, and I will take this and I <gasps> go like this into my noodle bowl. Sorry, Ooh, I'm going to go into my noodle bowl. I'm going to take one of my noodles. Oh, there's some sauce down there, the yummy sauce. Oh, see how the noodles, see how they turn out to be, like, see the seam, the noodles, and then you just go... Mmm, I'm so so yummy. Mmm. Uh oh. Mmm. Awesome. Um, I just I did discover that I did go, you know I looked at my list from my farm fresh to you that was dropped off, which I probably should have done before I started cooking, but those were yellow crookneck squash. So yes, squash family. I think they should be renamed to yellow zucchini because they tasted exactly like zucchini. So I don't know who they're trying to fool with this crookneck squash thing. I mean, why don't we just call it green crookneck squash zucchini? Why wouldn't we just change both the names if they're the exact same thing, just a different color? So that's what I have to say about that. Uh, the only thing on here I have no idea what it is is a fl flavoroso pluot. So I gotta look into my fridge and see what the heck that is. Um, and then there's a Eureka lemon. Eureka! I'm a lemon! Anyway, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Flavoroso Pluto. Stay tuned. Don't stay tuned. Just figure it out for yourself.